see, John, we're here. These are the two, two new, uh, the youth, the, uh, the youth. Yeah, that's a good way for Why would I pick that point? <laughs> the future of Curtail. Curtail Productions. Curtail Productions, yeah. But it, have you been uh, at Curtail all, all your career now? Well, I got it started off at Gemini. Yeah. And then I moved to the Sholly, I had one for the Sholly, and then went back to Gemini, and then started to turn over. But I knew streets from the amateurs anyway, because I've been. So, did you box here then as an amateur? No, no, no. Not either, did on the box of the KTL. Oh, poachers, you two. He's coming on to us. My daddy. They definitely don't know where they're letting you tell them. I'm blagging Because this is this is a new venture for you, isn't it, Steve John? Yeah. You know, because what well, Nathan was your first pro, well, he's your only pro still at present. Yeah, yeah. Only um, just spoke to him, he's got a huge fight coming up. How's preparations going for him? Good. Um, obviously we've sort of had an inkling for a couple of weeks, it was going to come about, so we've, we've been in for like three weeks now. Yeah, soon, yeah. soon and a half, three weeks. When the, um, just as, e as easy as we could with everything that's going on, but it's alright, it's going well. Yeah. Well, how do, you, how do you feel about that? Because it's been thrown into the deep end a little bit for yourselves. You know, I mean, you've had one fight. Is it one fight one only fight. or two yeah. fights? Was it? No, one, one, one fight. fight. That was the Michael Mooney last time out. Last time out, yeah. Yeah. Um, but this is a, a different kettle of fish. I mean, he's going in here with a, a former GP uh, top prospect and Bullshit. one of Eddie's golden boys or yeah, future golden very boys. Good lads and Smith, yeah. Um, where we are at the minute with the, everything happening and the way it got announced to the day, I think it's a, a great fight for Nathan. Um, a winnable fight as well, don't get me wrong. Nathan's at that level as well, I believe. We believe as a team, Nathan's at that level himself. So, it's a good fight for him. Mm -hmm. It's a good fight for Dalton, but obviously, either one wins. They move on to bigger and better things. Um, we're looking forward to it. And they don't know what they're getting, do they? Because it's a good fight, though. Thanks to Nathan's team, and yourself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, like I said, I've met Dalton a couple of times, he seems a cr cracking kid. Uh, and, I, and I know about his his, uh, his career purely through Danny Wright because Danny beat him yeah, yeah. Uh, in the semi-finals I think when he, he went on to win the ABAs and he said he's a good lad yeah. so uh, you know uh, what Danny says is normally right but he says uh, he says Nathan's got a good chance. Yeah, Lazar said, said the other week I think I said to you on the phone um, the year of the ABAs when Danny won them we had Tom McGuinness in them that, that year yeah, so yeah. we were looking out for Dalton Smith because I knew Dalton was, um, didn't know Danny Wright at the time, and to be honest, Danny Wright surprised me, he's fucking brilliant. Yeah. But we knew Dalton Smith, we was happy we stayed away from him in the draw, obviously through, through Danny Wright, and it, <laughs> it didn't go too well. <laughs> well, so was that in the pre quarter finals? Pre quarter finals, yeah. So Danny beat Tom, and then he beat Dalton Smith in the next round after. Mm -hmm. So we knew about Dalton Smith from then. But, um, a little bit about this place because during lockdown, I mean, you were doing a wonderful job when I last came down here. Uh, you had the main, the main room already all complete, but where I've just been watching these two on the pads with you, uh, wasn't quite ready. It was sort of a bit like a building site, wasn't it? It was. That's all. Thanks to the. I'll tell you, John. Now, <laughs> 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 you ready now, John? <laughs> <laughs> it was all thanks to John. Who's this? All right, John. Okay. Um, obviously, John has been here from. Day one, hasn't he? Two and all, ripping everything down. He's done a good job in here. Amazing job, mate. Amazing it's job. I mean, it's, uh, it's arguably one of the nicest gyms I've been in. Yeah. It's, uh, it's beautiful. I'd like to say credit for that, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I tell everyone else it was me, but it was him. And now, you two, looking to kick over, both young guns. What are you, Sean? You're 20? Yeah, 20. Ethan, 19. you're what? 19? Are you both classed as gingers there, or just the one? Oh, oh you're I'm just the one. I'm like, I'm not ginger. Yeah. <laughs> You've quit yeah, to deny sure that, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, man's hidden well. <laughs> and uh, what, so this was the reason why you joined here, because you know they've started the uh, the pro game. And Steve, you wanna... coached, I coached, Steve coached me in Ireland before I went to uh, uh, the Moose Town Cup. With yeah. uh, Maisie Shard. Right. And, uh, Steve coached me then, so. There's another place I've gone. Well, Ethan, we'll start with you then. What's your amateur career been like? How many fights? Yeah, I had about 40, 38. Mm -hmm. uh, lost about 12. So, good record? Yeah. 
I always say in the amateurs a 50-50 record is a good record, so yeah. that's more like a 75% yeah. win record, so very good. Uh, any uh, like uh, regional titles or anything? Yeah, I've won every regional title part. I've got beat once in the, in the region, in the in the final by Ari Kinsella from the gym. From ah, his gym. Right, yeah. Oh, good kid. I've, 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 I've interviewed Ari Kinsella there, haven't I? Yeah, not for a while. He's and Majesty's place at the minute. Was it? It was a couple of years ago, but I, I yeah. think I, I filmed him, he was boxing for England. Um, I think it was on the same night that uh, Akeem Fias uh, was making his uh, his England debut. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I think uh, they all won, so it was good. Um, and, and what's your style like? Um, as an amateur, I boxed on the back foot, but since I've come here, I've started bit working on all my feet. And Pushing people, pushing people back. Steve bring, bring me on loads and JJ. So, my style is starting to change yeah. now. Like, yeah, yeah. But at 19, I suppose it's still going to be changing. Yeah, it's still going to be. Yeah, I'm all the time overnight to learn. So, but you're a southpaw. Southpaw, yeah. Honourable southpaw. <laughs> Seems like you've got not both of you southpaws, aren't you? Yeah. No one taught you proper, you two didn't teach you proper what? <laughs> this gym, they didn't come here. I was just hard this gym, it should be hard for stop balls. They could have gyms, just kicked them to us. It's just full of stop balls in here. Uh, and what, because you, you've actually signed with uh, Steve, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, I signed with Steve, yeah. When was that? February. Yeah, February, February, February before yeah. all yeah. this. I was going to be out 23rd June, right. last, last weekend, but because mm -hmm. of this. Well, hopefully, uh, it, it seems like everything's going in the right direction. There's not too many new cases being reported. <coughs> so, hopefully, uh, as the lockdown comes down and everything keeps progressing well, then maybe, maybe we can, can before the end of the year, the small old shows can go ahead. Fingers crossed, yeah, and uh, get them out as soon as they can. But the thing is, with these two, they're being so young, not really going to bother them, is it? No, mm. I want to get out. Yeah, they are itching to get out and make that transition and turn over. So, just well, what's your what's your aspirations for when you turn pro? What do you want to be? How far do you want to go? Obviously, I want to go to the top. But I wouldn't be. Yes, yeah, wouldn't be in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what I mean. Some people say my ambition. I wanted to be a central area champion. You know what I mean. That would have been my. Well, I think the central area meant something as well a few I years ago. I always say, yeah, but it's just me. It was me, I'd be like, yeah, but it's just champions beat mm. away. Yeah. That's a, that's, a, that's a big big thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but I was shit. <laughs> 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 I was actually. I was actually. I'd jump up there. <laughs> but, uh, no, you know, I speak to kids and suddenly I want to be world champion and all yeah. that. And, you know, it, it takes something special, doesn't it? You know, oh, normally all shines. Uh, 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 visual, uh, so you're on, isn't it? Yeah, any title in the pros is recognisable. Yeah. Yeah. It's good achievements, isn't it? Yeah. So, back on, so. Titles. And you used to fight as a ginger. <laughs> 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 taking over. <laughs> hey, to be honest, not just self pose, it's gingers in this gym as well, isn't it? It's full of gingers as well. <laughs> what about the thing? Is he blonde or is he a bit ginger? Because he's just pale enough to be a ginger. Who's this? Nathan. <laughs> Nathan was originally ginger, weren't he? Yeah. yeah obviously, or as he'd say, strawberry blonde. Strawberry blonde. Yeah. And Sean, you 20, you're 20, looking, yeah. You're looking to kick over. You've not signed papers no, yet. No, I haven't signed and yet. I started about two months after Ethan. Yeah. Um, but still want to get out as soon as I can, like, want to get the ball rolling now. And your amateur career, what's that been like? Um, similar, I had about 30, between 35 and 40, I don't know how many, uh, lost about 12, 11, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and again, uh, regional titles? Yeah, won about 7 or 8 regional titles. I think I only got, I was the same as anybody who been in the region once, by um, good lad from the Rotunda. Bit of a bad decision, boxed him twice. Um, the first fight he beat me, second fight I thought I won. Mm -hmm. um, but you got it, but yeah, same time. And I, I think people don't realise because being the regional champion in Liverpool is good because it's hard. You've got a yeah. lot of competition, haven't you? Um, you know, certain areas you can you can almost get through to the final without actually having a fight. Yeah. But generally, you've got to be fighting at least three yeah. or four fights to become that regional champion, haven't you? Mm, yeah. Definitely, yeah. I said the region's always been quite strong. Yeah. And funny enough, the ex regional coaches just come in, John Warbob. <laughs> so both of these lads to Monkstown as well. Yeah. So John knows these lads a lot as well. Yeah. I, I forgot to uh, ask before, Sean, what weight do you fire? Um 
I was 69, as an amateur. I'm going to try and get to welter. If not, I'm going to do super welter. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes. And Ethan? I'll be doing about the feather. Last box that went 60 as an amateur, which is mm -hmm. like light beat, but I put that for drop down to at least super feather, maybe yeah. even feather. But with, with both being so young, weight's not really an issue yet, is it? You just let them develop naturally and see where they go. Because they both don't look small for your size. No. I, mean, I was surprised when you said featherweight and I was surprised when you told me I thought you were definitely going to be a, a light middleweight. Yeah. John's put muscles on and weighed in all the yards as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's done yeah. all the strength and conditioning courses. You so do all the strength and conditioning with all the lads in now. Yeah, yeah. he's um, yeah. very good with him. He's worked them hard, Ethan, I'll tell you from. Yeah. Ethan sort of went through Nathan's last camp with him and watched himself transform there. He was ripped up towards the end of the way. Yeah. Yeah. To go is it a big difference for you? No. Have you noticed the, the training yeah, that you did exactly. as an amateur uh, compared to now you, you, you're dipping your toe in the pro waters? I wish I would have done it not as soon as I turned 18 to be honest with you, but even if I would have done it then I wouldn't have been with them too anyway, well, so it's worked out better for me. Well as an amateur, how many times were you training a day then? To be honest, towards the end of my amateur career I went, I went to from a serious, I wouldn't mm. motivate myself. To be honest, that's why right. that's the reason I turned over. Towards yeah. the end, I was just messing about with boxing, but got me up screwed on now with these two. And I can't wait to get going. Did you not get them in labouring for you when you were knocking all the walls down? That would have been a good exercise. <laughs> I, I, do do like like I, I didn't get them dirty, would I you? I dreamed then it was nearly done. That's why they waited, yeah, right? That's when they all started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I waited until it was nice in here and then I didn't finish all that way. Yeah. I waited till it looked better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you've been active though uh, during this lockdown because even though you've had no fighters in, you've been doing a lot for the community, haven't you? Yeah, Kirkdale as a whole, of, we always have um, done a lot for the community. We've been doing a food bank now, if you look at some of the numbers on the board here, there's over 7,000 meals gone out daily for local residents and people who've helped them. We've sort of been that's kept us going and it kept yeah. us busy throughout. We're on week 13 now, the numbers are dropping down. We were on about 100 people a day, up to 100 people a day at the most. I think we're down to about 65 to 65 meals a day. The reason it has dropped down, out. yeah, more people are getting out and about. People are getting out and getting back to normal. Restrictions are easing up a bit, so people are saying, look, thanks for your help, but we can get out and about now, we don't. We're okay, so. It's been good, there's a couple of people who have helped us there on the board, which he's got all the time. LA Productions, Transalpino, Maverick Stars, um, Evercool is our main sponsor. I'm going to be doing a, an interview about uh, Maverick Stars. I'm doing one with uh, Don McGuinness. He's uh, uh, a big uh, advocate for the uh, for the charity. Because they help with a lot of the boxing uh, gyms, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They've, helped, they've, they've done a lot with Manchester and Liverpool mm -hmm. the last couple of weeks. They've been, they've been good for us, haven't yeah, they? They've been sending me also to Boxing clubs all over the country, they, send, they were sending us 50, 50 a day um, to send out and then we, we were doubling it up to the hundred then and getting it out to the residents. But they do like um, fit and, little fit and feds and that with us on the half turns and stuff so they don't have to load like brilliant. So get back to boxing, when do you think the uh, you're going to be able to open the amateur side again? Fingers crossed the soon as. I don't know. I don't see the point of why they will have pubs in that throat and not gyms, but mm -hmm. it's crazy. It's just a shame as we get the messaging all the time when's the gym open and the gym open. That's the reason why they use the term pro, isn't it? It's 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 probably that. is, yeah. Just yeah. so I can get back it's in the gym. I'll have an excuse to be in the gym. At the minute, we can't <laughs> open because of what's going on. It's only the pros you've been in, just taking over. Um, it's not the amateur's back now, don't we? <laughs> it's hard, the gym, the gym's there, but I like it's the same, yeah. Well, it is, yeah, but yeah. I, I, I would, you, two, you know, obviously, we know it's a business, boxing as well as a, as a sport, as a business. How are you going to find on the uh, ticket side? Is that going to be easy for you to, to get the numbers out? Yeah, we've got the same group of mates, so yeah. all our mates. Yeah, mates for years, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. So, so the good thing about this is, if they go to watch you, it's two for the price of one then, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good thing about it. Well, hopefully we'll do signs. I've got a big family as well, so hopefully the tickets won't be a problem. Every Liverpool's got a big family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally How do you feel about that? Kids, kids, kids. <laughs> We've just been, just been filming that here. You know, I didn't even realise Everton's just behind you, the ground here. You're all Everton. Best lady in the city. Best lady in the city. There's not a better view in the city. Look over. Shines on us. Yeah. 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 Yeah
It's a horrible shit. But, 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 but now, I'm going to stick as well. 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 I'm going to stick They've been helping us a lot. People's club, isn't it? People's club. Oh, Probably Liverpool just won the title. <laughs> yeah, so doesn't matter. Still, uh, it doesn't matter. We don't mention that in this year. Football. <laughs> 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 so yeah. in this year. What yeah. was a child then? Cake's tasty. Tours are one of the main things we'll tours and give us a lot as well. It's good. Uh, we don't we don't mention football, it's a boxing club. But he's ever done one you would do. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I, I'm looking forward to following your two juniors. I'll be catching up with you hopefully before the end of the year when we'll be ch- talking about you making your debuts. So um, hopefully uh, the next time I do chat to you properly, you'll, uh, you'll hopefully be one and all. Both of you. Hope so. Who's got any sponsors on? Who's one of Yeah, I've got um, Spartan Security helping you get, get through. Um, the hard old bar short and all my meals out and um, a leak construction. Hey, look at this, he's almost pro already. He's like a fight, he's got all his. Uh... Yeah, I've got dovetail and slate, they're out on the outloads and Spartan as well. So I've only got the two at the minute, but I should get a few more next couple of months. Spartan sounds like a cracking thing. Is, yeah. is that your film? It's been a pleasure, lads. Good luck with the uh, uh, future, and uh, like I say, hopefully we'll see you. Well, yeah. we, uh, what about going down? Who's gonna? Who, how many allowed to go down with Nathan? Well, spoke to Steve over this the other day. Um, at the minute, it's all four. We don't know how it's gonna go in the next couple of weeks, whether it opens up a bit more. And at the minute, I think it's four. Who's allowed to armor them? So who's that gonna be? So it'll uh, be. Um, Obviously, it's me and Jay and a coachman. Right. Um, is, you, is your coachman there now? See, at the minute, I've done the coach course. Yeah. But obviously, we'll get someone in who's. I don't know, we'll just stand, we'll probably go with Smoggy or someone. Yeah, yeah. John, um, just while we're going. Um, that's Davo as well. Davo's halfway through his application to co- coach as well, but he's waiting at the end few stages of the minute, so. Right. He wouldn't get in that. Well, it's fingers crossed, we'll be celebrating in five weeks. First win on a massive stage. Definitely. Great exposure for you all. Mm-hmm. So, listen, good luck, lads. Thank Catch you, you soon. Right. Bye. For all boxing, info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.